as expected. Sand. Good morning everybody. It is Wednesday and I'm off to my first freelance gig which is Push PR. It's an agency that I've worked with before and now I'm going back and I'll be working there three times a week which is really great. They've got amazing brands and I'm literally just running to go and do my first day there. What am I looking for? My wallet. This is a great angle. Blogging tips one two one. Okay found my wallet. I look like a little duckling today. These yellow sh yellow trousers. They're from Zalando and actually they're from Weekday. Um, so really cool brand that I like a lot. It's been real now. Can't be going out for an hour's journey. I don't know how I feel about this hair. So I don't know if you've seen my story this earlier this week, but my hair appointment cancelled um, pretty much half an hour before my appointment. So that was very disappointing. Um, so I didn't get my hair done yet. But I am going on Friday, somebody different. So it's actually Geordie who has been doing my hair for majority of my long hair life. Um, she's actually cut my hair shoulder length and then we've let it grow quite long. And then I've been with, I've been at her salon last February. So yeah, I've been mind blank. My parents' house, I don't, I really am not feeling this outfit. I look very, I don't know. Okay, for some reason this just feels so much more like me, even though it's super baggy. I think we're gonna tuck this in, so it's a bit like this. And then I'm gonna wear my white shoulder bag. Yeah, it feels so much more like me. And whether, the thing is, I don't have any clothes with me right here, so I've got very small material to work with, but I think the kind of yellow works, and the top is comfy and doesn't restrain my neck, which I hate. Hair is very made up today. So the lovely people at The Daily Edit has sent this amazing set for Nim. Yeah, they did. It comes in these little cute pouches, which I love so much. He had um, his little lead in here with his name on it. And then he has a matching lead with also his name on it. So smart, so fancy. Nim, what are you eating? Stop. Um, so yeah, I've got another 13 minutes of waiting for this bus. Honestly, living in outside of London isn't the one. And honestly, I kind of consider moving back to my parents because, you know, rent and all that. But hell no, cannot be doing this. Cannot be dealing with this. I want some snack. Mum's so cute. She's put these out for me and she was like, Grab one before you go, because I don't want you to be hungry. Um, I don't particularly like these because it tastes like cardboard, but just can see dryness. Mm-hmm, as expected, sand. So this absolute liability of my life has decided to turn up. We need to go away. Uh, oh no. What are you the doing? river is over there. Hi! <laughs> okay, wait, I'm really stressed because look. Yeah. So we need to go across there basically. Yeah. So this is Gabby, the person who I was moaning about for the past two minutes. About me. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to this random gig on random. a boat. What is it? Stormzy. And it's with EE. It's not random. 
you want to share everyone my outfit? That is what all my Okay, so are. the reason why. <laughs> So the reason why Gabby's so late is that because she had to go and get a new outfit from Topshop. So if you'd seen my previous outfit. Then you would have been upset. It was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, we look like a boyfriend and girlfriend. I quite like it. I never wanted to be a boyfriend. Relationship. <laughs> Hi guys, I just woke up and I started doing my makeup and I'm doing this like glossy look. Um, so I just put my Fenty lip gloss and my Fenty lip gloss on the eye to have this kind of like uniform makeup. Honestly, don't even ask. I'm just going to do my hair now and I'm off to an event for Emilia's launch. In I need to leave in an hour. So I'm going an hour to do my hair, get ready and leave the house to make this Mayfair brunch. Let's do my hair. So I'm going to use this Playa New Day Mist in my hair. It smells like holiday. It smells incredible. It's got neroli and mint. No, it's just neroli water. I have my curlers. These. This is a wand from Cloud9. I've been using it for maybe three years now. It's great. You do, um, it is suggested to have a glove when you're using these, but I've lost it. And actually I kind of got used to doing my hair without it. Just let it heat up. I part my hair in two sections. I keep seeing so many greys in my hair right now. It's not so great, but get my hair dyed tomorrow so I'm gonna go away so I just take part of my hair I honestly don't know what I'm doing with my hair tomorrow so this could be the last day I've got my long hair on my head and I just cut it up and I just curl it like that so I always have my curlers upside down almost because it gives like a nice natural beachy wave um, rather than like a very curly ringlet and I just hold it for a second and then I just do everything around right so I'm super late this is a great um, example of how I do my hair so essentially this is the top layer of my hair and then from here, I just curl it to give it some volume. This is going to be great. I can't see nothing. So I just take a part like this, part it, then blindly, kind of, just curl it. My hair's so thick, I can't actually see through my fringe. And then I just sit like this. And I go, oh my god, this is great. And then I, to be honest, I don't really have that much time to be waiting around. I'm just kind of leave it like this, and then go with another party. And I go like that all the way down. Here. I will split it into two. And then do it this way, so almost if I want to have a parting, I can, but if I don't, I can just sweep it a bit on one side. And then I just make it fall the way it naturally does. I 
you can see the kind of like volume here I'm definitely going to do it Okay, enough of burning my hair. Turn that off. I'm going to use this Kevin Murphy um, Session Spray Flex. It says light flexible finishing spray. Hair spray is humongous. and Amelia on my neck. Yes, so I'm representing <laughs> why am I sat next to her? I just don't understand. <laughs> like, what I'm like, you don't want to sit this way? Thank you all so much for coming and being here in your busy schedules. I mean, today we have so many gorgeous girls around one table. So I'm so honored that you would take time out of your day to be with me. I hope you have a chance to like to chat and speak to everyone else. And there are some amazing, amazing girls here. Twee and Susie both won awards this week. Woo! One of my best, <laughs> best blogger, like literally so amazing, amazing. Yes. So many amazing people around one table. But yes, this is the, my jewelry launch day and I'm already overwhelmed. I've already cried once today, so I'll <laughs> save the tears. But I really hope you guys love the collection. It's all 12 karat gold plated. I really wanted to make something that was really on trend, really like approachable, really wearable. You can layer it, you can wear the more dainty pieces, you can wear everything together if you want to go all out like me. So I really hope you guys like it and enjoy. <laughs> I just got this galaxy bowl and I'm literally. Congratulations. It's amazing. So I just finished up at the event. It was so lovely to see everybody, all the girls who came. I haven't seen for a while now, so it was really nice to see. I'm just on my city back up, trying to find the location. My new meeting. I'm meeting with Nail Zinc. I actually, before that, I have a call with a client, so I need to try to try and find like a cool spot somewhere quiet where I can have this call. Cool. Like, I always get lost. I'm trying to find a quiet spot to do this call with a client and I just walked into a nail salon because I thought it was a coffee shop. It was that pretty. Um, I really don't know the area so I'm not quite sure. Maybe I'll just do the standard freaking Starbucks. Why not? Okay, client meeting done. Well, client call done. Um, I'm basically going to this event um, next week on Thursday to Paris. So I had to just figure out the last bits and bobs for the event. I'm off to a second, no, third meeting of the day. Honestly, three meetings a day is enough. I'm doing five just to cram everything in in my like a week off. Um, I really am regretting doing all of this today because I'm really tired but I'm very excited to see Alice from New Zealand.
so I'm at the Seattle event. There's a launch of the new metallic um, eyeshadows and the new range, which I'll show you guys later. But we are doing this like flower arrangements right now. So I'm very excited. I'm so happy to get new flowers in my house. Everything's dead in my house. I just love that. So, this is Lauren. <laughs> a bright biatch Lauren Alexa if you'd like to follow her on Instagram um, please do she is bang fancy I am Banksy they fall in like, even if you didn't buy this much foam you wouldn't buy that much foam because florists never like to sell foam we're all bad we never sell foam if you see what happens they separate like that there's a reason for that my flowers and I need to organize this and make it into a bouquet that we've just been shown. I did it wrong. It is so wrong. So we're having so hell from the teacher has come. So it looks really egg-shaped now. It looks round like it should. Um, and I'm gonna carry on messing it. Okay. Okay. So my dream would be the florist is not shattered just yet. Yes. I do. Take two. Yeah. So, okay. I decided to cheat and get some help. So this is her bouquet. Um, hiring you for my wedding. Mine looks nothing. <laughs> Yours is pretty. Well, that's a lie. So. See, I thought flower arranging was going to be massive. Piece of green. I mean, oh. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but so I've just made this one, and Elle left me her bouquet because she's going to a Michael Bublé concert, so she didn't want to take it with her. So now I've got two bouquets to go to another event with a million bags. Let's do this. I just popped to the Paige showroom to pick up some stuff for summer. I picked up some cool jeans, which I'm really excited to style, and some jumpsuit, which looks really nice for me to wear on a holiday. I also have this massive bouquet of flowers and all the bags with me. So for obvious reason, I decided to get a cab because I just did the journey from Tottenham Court Road to Bond Street, and I wanted to die in literally two stops. Um, definitely not doing a way home um, which will take around an hour so nice uber drive for sure good morning um it's friday Whoop! i just had my blood tested and i really did think i'm gonna faint because i'm really bad with needles and i hate to get my blood tested i only had it done once and i took my mom to it it was the first time i went on my own and it was disgusting you had three like if you are very like Beamish, don't even think about watching the next minute um it was like three different containers and she just stuck this needle in me and there was like a big like cut thing and i literally was like as soon as i saw that i was like no so i looked up the other way and by 10 seconds there was three containers filled with my blood and i literally was just like mm. i'm just waiting for my bus which is coming now i'm going to notting hill to meet with a client and then I'm off to my haircut, which I'm so, so terrified about. I'm off to get my haircut. I just had my meeting with a client and it was so good. Um, the lady who I spoke to was incredible. So inspirational. So I'm very excited to work with the guys. Now I'm on a very busy South Kensington Road to go to my haircut appointment. I've been hugging my hair all day. I really not, don't want to let it go. Like, 
I think every time I go get my hair cut, that's how I feel. But it'll be fine. I trust Jordi and let's go. So if you're in South Kensington, it's literally right by TK Maxx. Um, just around the corner from here, there's Cabela's and I've been going here since two years ago and I've not had my hair cut done by anybody else like these girls and I just got myself some pasta to get me through my work day. an appointment with Jordi. Hello. This is my hair before. It's really long and it's kind of shapeless so I think we're going to do smudge it off. I look like an absolute potato right now. This is Jordi. She's my hairstylist and she takes care of me for the past two years now. Yes. Yes. So all this hair is due to this woman. So now we're going to look through my colour and Jordi's going to match to my roots. So what is my hair looking like? So we are going to use a toner. Um, you can see the ends are slightly lighter than the root colour. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is a really nice semi-permanent colour and we're going to call it a gloss because we're mixing it with um, a mask as well. So colour and mask and peroxide all in one. Mm -hmm. And what it will do is it will just tone these ends down to the root colour, making it look really nice, shiny and glossy. Perfect. Well, I'm excited. Also these chairs have massage chairs in them and I'm living for it. <laughs> So we just toned my hair, we put a toner in, so if you're thinking of toning your hair at home, I wouldn't recommend it because it is so nice to come to a salon and make sure that the people tailor it for you. It's bespoke made, so the exact colour that you want to have, it will be there. So we're just going to kind of a little bit darker uh, from basically taking the colour from my root all the way down to my ends. Um, and now I'm toasting in this microwave looking contraption to make the product sink into my hair and then we're gonna wash it off and go with the cut. I'm excited. So the hair is toned and it's looking fresh. Okay so we just did my colour and it's like a rich brown verging to black and I'm loving it. I feel like Pocahontas. Um, <laughs> and now we're going to go for the chop and we have established that we're doing a boob length. A what? A boob length. A, a boob length. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to use a combination of channel cutting, which is cutting downwards, but also a little bit of razoring on the edge just to give it that soft finish so it looks a bit worn in or mm -hmm. lived in mm -hmm. instead of that really chunky sort of half line. Yeah, which we never want that. We're also going to do a little bit of framing of the face around sort of like high cheekbone level, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> high cheek level fringe. Kind of. Yes. This is a joke. Like, I can like rest my bum on your bum. This is ridiculous. Hey, and also, can we talk about this makeup? I can't come believe. I can't believe I've done it. I can't believe I've done it. So excited. I actually got some goodies from Cabela's. So you can also shop in the salon. And I got the Carousel uh, blow dry spray or mousse. I just need to double check what it is. But Jordi said it's amazing for my type of hair. 
then I got this um, mask which I'll use the next time I'm washing my hair, which I'm really excited about. And also a little shine spray, which I a brand I've never really heard about. So this is going to be very exciting. Oh my god, this camera. There we go. Oh this is it. My first everyday vlog is over. I thoroughly enjoyed um, doing these vlogs, kind of like in a nice transition of my life, you know, changing my jobs, going to loads of events, changing my hair, which I'm still very much obsessed with. I've got a little clip with me today as well. I really hope you guys enjoy these vlogs because I really, really enjoyed making them. So I will consider vlogging a little bit more throughout this journey, but um, for now, thank you so much for watching and supporting it for the whole entire five, four weeks. Um, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and like my videos that really does help a lot and comment underneath below which one was your favorite vlog of this series so again thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you next Sunday with another video